Humanity stands at a crossroads. There's one path, a predictable path to collapse. It's a road we've been pushed on with fossil fuels, with poisons, by the poison cartel, selling pesticides, when we have so many plants that give us pest control. This path has given us climate catastrophe. It's given us species of extinction at a thousand times the normal rate. It's given us hunger of a billion people and another two billion uncertain about whether they'll be able to eat in the next two weeks. And that includes people in the rich countries. Two billion sick. This is not a food system. There is another path. And that path shows the way to regeneration, shows the way to a future. The path that is leading to degeneration and to predictable collapse gives us a 10-year window to change. Otherwise, as the IPCC tells us, then the Biodiversity Convention tells us, and every major study tells us, in a hundred years, we could be extinct like other species are extinct. That's why there are movements like Extinction Rebellion. The perennial path of life is the path of biodiversity. It's a way of working without fossil fuels, without poisons, without the poison cartel, without corporate control. It's a path that nature has walked for four billion years. We have walked for 10,000 years of farming. We can walk another 10,000 years if we leave a legacy for our children. We have to cooperate with biodiversity. We have to prevent the erosion, not just of biodiversity in nature, but the knowledge of biodiversity. As has been said, the struggle of people against power is a struggle of memory against forgetting. Let's not forget that the camphor and the neem and the turmeric are all available to heal this planet. Let's work together.